Hello everyone, I've uh, got a little extra video here for you, we're going to verify the spring forecast. So on the 28th of February we released the Gaz Web is Spring 2021 uh, forecast, of course we're now past spring, well and truly we are into meteorological uh, summer and also astronomical summer as well. We had our longest day uh, yesterday of course on the 21st of June. So um, a little bit late with this actually, so uh, we're going to verify the spring forecast, see how we did uh, and go through the uh, climate averages at UK Met um, very shortly. So I shall get on with that view uh, in a second. Um, just to say that the first video release was our 7am uh, forecast with releasing East Centre at 30 day look at and we've got a 10 to 14 day coming up for you uh, this afternoon. I just want to get this one in uh, very quickly, you know, uh, throw this and get it out of the way. Um, and then that will close the door on uh, spring um, 2021 well and truly. So, let's go on a bit then. Uh, as I said, on the uh, 28th of February, the last day of, uh, of February, we released the Gauss with its uh, spring forecast. Our spring forecast was for a north-south split. Northern areas, we thought, would come out close to average for temperature and a little bit wetter than average. Uh, for England, so that's for like Scotland and Northern Ireland. For England and Wales, we thought that the spring overall would be perhaps a little bit warmer than average with near normal uh, rainfall. We predicted that uh, March and April would have uh, would have regularly sort of uh, mild dry periods, but would also have throwbacks to the pattern of winter. Of course, the pattern of winter was quite cold at times. So we thought there would be further cold snaps through March and April. Um, and, and, you know, uh, overall there could be a little bit of snow as well through the uh, early part of spring in particular, with perhaps the warmest, driest weather occurring um, into uh, May. Uh, well, this is how the... Uh, let's just turn off the webcam, uh, actually, for this. So this is how uh, the temperature anomaly looks for uh, spring 2021, set against the 81 to 2010 average. Uh, and you can see that it was just widely uh, a cooler to colder than average spring, with the coldest anomalies to average, interestingly, in the southeastern corner. But nearly all areas are coming out uh, below average for their temperature during uh, during the spring. So it was a significantly colder season than we predicted. I think it was a significantly colder season than pretty much anybody predicts. I don't think anybody's expecting the spring to turn out as cold as it was. Uh, and, uh, and, and, yeah, so, so it's our coldest spring since 2013, actually, it included the coldest, I'll show you the monthly, uh, logs in a moment, but it included, like, the coldest, uh, April, certainly for Central England since, uh, 1986, and the coldest May for Central England since 1996, no one was expecting that at all, so, so it was significantly colder, than we predicted. Precipitation-wise, uh, that's a little bit uh, better, I think. So overall, uh, you know, southern areas are like a little bit drier than average to near normal. Some northern and western areas are a little bit wetter than average to near normal. So, so on precipitation side, that's a little bit better, although uh, we did have an exceptionally wet uh, May, which was offset by a very dry April. So again, I'm not sure the precipitation side of the forecast worked out all that well either. And as far as uh, sunshine goes, it was actually quite a sunny spring, except across southern areas where it, it was near average. But most areas, actually, most parts of the country did come away uh, with, uh, with above average sunshine. Uh, so despite the chilly temperatures, it, it, there was plenty of sunshine to enjoy. Let's just go through these month by month then. So uh, we'll look at March, first of all. So March temperature normally looks like that. Actually a little bit mild than average. The March, um, uh, the March, you know, prediction went okay, but the forecast started off uh, quite well, actually. Uh, so slightly above average for temperature in March for uh, rainfall. Uh, let's move this over to where we're going. We'll be looking at that, aren't we, March? No, that's February, that's March, yeah. So uh, for rainfall, rather dry than average in many areas. A little bit wet average in northwest and west Scotland, but most areas... Average to drive an average in March and a little bit above average for uh, for temperature. So as far as like uh, March is concerned, the forecast started off on quite a successful note. It's really April that it all went a little bit awry uh, <laughs> because look at that. We have a very, very cold April. We did predict that like March and also we highlighted April uh, could, could be prone to regular cold interludes. 
um, as we sort of throw back to the winter pan. Very often when you have a colder winter, you will the pan will try to re-emerge, you know, the blocking sin will try and come back into the spring. Uh, it just came back a lot more than we anticipated, and particularly so in April, where we found ourselves going into, uh, as I say, our coldest April for some parts of the country, notably central England, for what was it, 35 years. And, of course, nobody expected uh, that to happen. Uh, Precipitation-wise, in April, it was also a very, very dry month. So an unusual combination of significantly uh, colder, but also significantly drier than average, which is very unusual uh, to have that combination. Normally, if it was dry in April, you'd expect it to be quite warm. We think about months such as April 2007 and April 2011, which were very dry and very warm. If it's cold in April, it would tend to be quite wet, such as 1998, for example, or 2012. So that was an unusual, very unusual month, uh, April. And then, of course, we go through to May, which was also quite a quite a cool month. Not quite as cold with the anomaly to average Say it's against 81 to 2010 as, um, as April was. But nevertheless, May was still below average across the entire country. There's not a single part of the country that's coming out warmer than average uh, in May. So it was our coldest May since uh, 1996, 25 years ago. And a complete, complete flip uh, with precipitation. And we go widely wetter than average. So after that very dry April, we go significantly wet. Uh, in May, except across Western Scotland, where it is drier. So it was a very, it was a, it was a funny old spring, <laughs> to say the least. It was a very, very strange uh, spring that we had. I can't say that the gals, whether the spring forecast was particularly successful, although we did pick out some, you know, some things that went okay, like the throwbacks to the winter pattern. Uh, in terms of a blocking, bringing cooler, colder weather. I think they actually said that snow might fall, uh, you know, on an above average basis um, due to that. So so we did sort of get that right. But in terms of the overall detail, I, I, and we got March, you know, it started off OK in March as well, I think. But other than that, I mean, it wasn't a particularly successful forecast in what was a very, very, very strange uh, season, the way we flipped it terms of rainfall from a very dry April to a very wet May, the way we have that combination in April of like cold but dry, which I say is quite an unusual combination for April. And uh, and, and yeah, so, so it's a funny spring. The forecast wasn't overly successful. I mean, there were parts of it that were okay, but overall I would rate it as like a three or four out of ten really, or a two out of five. I, I, you know, there are elements that went okay, but I can't say it was a particularly successful forecast. Not like the winter forecast that we did, but was, you know, I was very happy with winter forecasts. I'm nowhere near as happy with the spring forecast, although we did pinpoint certain, certain um, parts of the spring that was okay. But it was a very, very strange season. I, I doubt there was anybody... You know, I doubt there's any forecast of uh, completely nailed this spring down because it was a very odd season, uh, to say the least. And certainly much colder, I think, than, than virtually anybody uh, would have expected, particularly so in April, but again, also uh, in May as well. So so it was an odd season and, uh, and we got certain parts of the forecast correct, but it wasn't a particularly successful forecast, uh, this one. But there we go. That's it. That is how spring uh, 2021 turned out. So, uh, you know, it's important when we release these long range forecasts that we go back and verify. And I think we're the only uh, the only forecasters that do this. I don't think there's any other forecasters that uh, go back after the event and verify what happened and how their forecast did. So we're always very transparent at uh, Gaz Weather Fits. We believe honesty is the best policy. If the forecast goes successfully well, you know, uh, we, we say that's what's happened. But if forecast doesn't go as well, then uh, we, we, we you know, sort of say it, you know, and uh, and that's it. So uh, it's up for everybody to judge what they think about this spring and about our spring forecast. But uh, there we go. That's how the stats uh, come out. So that does close the door on spring 2021. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I will be removing the uh, playlist for the spring forecast off the homepage and replace it uh, to YouTube and replacing it with the uh, with the autumn 
updates and forecast playlists uh, very shortly. So uh, that will be, but the playlist will remain. So you'll be able to come back and watch Sprint Forecast and this verification, whatever you would like to do that. You just have to locate it through the playlist tabs uh, or tab that you can get to via the YouTube homepage. But yeah, it was a funny old season, wasn't it? Funny old spring. And, uh, and summer has sort of started off a bit strangely as well, hasn't it? With this very dry third and warm first half of June, followed by, uh, followed by you know, more unsettled and cooler later, um, which is quite unusual for June as well. So it's a strange year, this, uh, and, uh, and we'll see where we go next. But that's the end of the, uh, 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 like, spring, that closing the door on spring 2021. And, uh, of course, we're moving on now through the summer and autumn updates have commenced and we're already beginning to think a little bit, bit about next winter as well so we never stop with a long range at gas weather it's right then uh let me know in the comments what you think to uh, the spring just gone what did you make of it and what did you think to our spring forecast let me know in the comments and uh yeah i'll be back just shortly with a 10 to 14 day but for the spring 2021 verification that's all for now and thanks for watching